Paul Watson of the Captain Paul Watson Foundation, he decided he was going to save some whales. He made this decision when he was in Dublin, Ireland. So you would think he would take his first bunch of garbage scout and sail north of about four to 500 miles to the Faroe Islands, who were slaughtering whales, those bloodthirsty barbarians, one right after another, they're murdering Watson's clients. No. He was good. <laughs> he decided to take that Rosberg of Garbage Scout and a crew of 25 cowards to sail to the North Pacific via the Northwest Passage. Now, why was he going there? Because the Japanese put to sea a new factory whaling ship. In other words, when the whalers captured the whales, they brought on this vessel to process it. And he was going to stop them, you understand? <laughs> well, so now on his way to the Northwest Passage, he decided to take a detour around Greenland to head to the capital of Greenland, Nook, claiming we're going to refuel. So they now dock in the capital, and he's greeted by people in Greenland. Let's watch. That's right. Criminal cosplay Watson the Horrible, His Holiness, was arrested. The authorities arrested him. For what? Did he not pay for the fuel? No. Based upon an Interpol red notice filed by the Japanese a number of years ago for his arrest. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he not know there was a notice after him? Yes, he knew there was a notice after him because recently he checked the Interpol website, website and at one time he did appear there as being water. But when he checked, poof, no longer. His name could not be found anywhere on the site as being wanted. So he thought to himself, gee, I'm a free man. I can sail the seven seas, stop at any port because I'm not wanted anymore by those terrible people in Japan. Well, guess what those terrible people in Japan did? You know, he thinks he's smarter than the people in Japan. Well, let me tell you something. I would suggest you do not play chess with anyone from Japan. And let me explain to you why. <laughs> what the Japanese did was, they placed, they did it recently, they placed that red notice on a confidential basis, meaning it's not viewable to the public. So if you went to look for him on there and you did not see his name there, you would think, gee, he's not wanted anymore. And that's what he thought. Gee, I'm not wanted there anymore because it was hidden to give him a false sense of security and it worked. It was a plan placed by the Japanese and they were rather successful at it. <laughs> so now he's in Greenland, incarcerated, goes to court and the judge says you will stay incarcerated up until August 15th because they want to give the Greenland Ministry of Justice enough time to decide whether to extradite this criminal to Tokyo. So, they also decided on an action of Watson some years ago. He was arrested some years ago in Germany and I forgot what the reason was. But his crew decided, the suckers, the minions, decided to have a campaign to raise money to buy, to pay for his bail and they called it Save Our Skip, Skipper, SOS. And they raised the money. They paid for his bail and he was released from the jail in Germany under the condition 
not to leave Germany, to stay in Germany. So he stayed in Germany enjoying the beers and the pretzels. Then he gets word from somebody within the German government, hey, pss, pss, the Japanese just filed an extradition request. Well, that put fear into that brave man who claimed, I will stand and say, hey, fought for my life to save a whale. Really? Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> he jumped bail. He left Germany. And that's what the judge in Greenland referenced, claiming now that Watson's a flight risk, so there's no bail. So no reason for the minions to raise money, but that's what they're doing anyway. They're trying to raise money to help Watson. What, what, what the money for what? It's not going to help him because there's no bail. My question is this. He is noted at one time for wearing a badge claiming to be law enforcement, enforcing the laws that he makes up as he goes along. Why didn't he show that badge to the authorities when they were arresting him? Because we all know how law enforcement uh, have uh, a camaraderie fellowship among one another, helping each other out. Gee, did he lose that badge? <clears throat> His hate for Japan, and he has hate for Japan, has not come back to haunt him. So pretty soon we could expect him to be shipped off to Tokyo. But wait a minute. The Ministry of Justice may decide, no, we're not going to extradite him. My question is this. Before the police arrested him, they had to get permission from the Ministry of Justice. So why would the Ministry of Justice give the police authorization to arrest a criminal if they were not going to extradite him? The waters are rather muddy. But it's good to know that he's now safe and at peace in a comfortable jail in Greenland. All right, folks. <laughs> and listen, all you folks out there, you suckers, you minions, you emotional wreck, your disposables, continue donating. These videos are fun to make. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And those brilliant Japanese for the subterfuge fooling this man. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>